Hey guys, what is up? As you can tell from the title, this is a chatty get ready with me type of thing. I thought this was the perfect video to do after I came back from my vacation just so I can fill you guys in what's happening and whatnot and just like talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys like, you know, like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do this one. I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of you were asking me how do I keep my skin bronzy like what's my makeup and whatnot today I'm just gonna be showing you guys that it is a super simple and quick and easy makeup tutorial I almost like hesitated on doing this makeup tutorial just because it's like I feel like I've done this in the past as always if you haven't joined the mermaid squad yet please go ahead and click subscribe down below right here or right over here and also please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps out your girl out but yeah anyways let's just go ahead and get started as always, I like to moisturize my face and I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and this one specifically for the oily skin people out there. This one is the combination oily to oily skin. A lot of you guys were asking me if I use a sunscreen on my face and to be completely honest, I really don't unless like I go to the beach or like to the water and stuff. But I like to use like foundations or like BB creams that already do have like SPF. I am officially back in LA. Um, I cannot believe that went by so fast. Hawaii was so much fun, you guys. If you live in Hawaii, you are so lucky because I feel like God just put everything nice in one island or like in Hawaii and I want to live there now. So that's the goal. In the future, that's where I want to raise like five puppies in Hawaii. And I like to use the Rosebud Salve and it's in this little container. I used to have the little tube one but this one's actually a lot better. Like you just go like this. So... That is moisturizing. Story time. When I was in elementary and in the Philippines, a lot of people like made fun of me for my skin tone. I'm like a lot darker than the usual Filipinos that you would see, at least like in the Philippines. Like they really like light skin. So people would call me like chocolate because like I'm a little darker. Like, ever since I moved to the US, I kind of just like started embracing my skin tone because I noticed that a lot of people, at least a lot of Caucasians, like wants to tan like they want okay this is gonna sound really selfish but like I'm not trying to be selfish but they like want that golden caramelized skin tone and I think that's kind of what I have so that's why I'm just like you know what y'all can make fun of me but I'm happy with the way my skin is right now because like I don't need to tan as hard as other people so anyways after moisturizing I like to apply the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser also this tutorial is basically consists of all of my favorite like day-to-day -day makeup products these are basically the ones that I use every single day or every time I apply makeup on so yeah this is kind of like a two-in-one tutorial it's like my bronzy makeup look slash favorite makeup of all time. These are my diehards, you guys. Do you ever just have those days where like you wake up and your hair just like cooperates and you're not going anywhere? Yeah, that's me right now. That's why I'm trying not to touch it as much, but I need to like put this little headband on. Also, I call it my Shakira hair. I did a post on it on Instagram. Go follow me there. Moving on to eyebrows, I like to use two things. Now, when I was in Hawaii, I only used like the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil just because like I didn't want to carry a lot of makeup but usually on an everyday today basis I like to use both of these this is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade which is like a dupe for the Anastasia um, pomade and it's just a lot cheaper they pretty much do the same thing to be completely honest and this is what I basically just use to like outline my brows and to be completely honest you guys my brows are like a hit or miss like today could look like little sperms on my eyebrows like other days they're like good so I'm just hoping today looks good what I like to do with my brows is use the pomade to outline the perimeters of my brows also, I met some of you guys and it was so, so cool, so sweet, like, I've met like a few of you guys here in California, but like, I did not expect that I was gonna meet some of you guys in Hawaii at Korean barbecue, which if you guys know me, I love Korean barbecue and it just so happens that I met two really nice subscribers and their last names were Aguinaldo and I was like, girl, we're probably like somehow related. I like to go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. I really like this one because it does give me like a natural finish, like naturally filled in finish. 
After my brows, I like to go on with my foundation and I actually use two foundations and the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is in the shade Gold and Tan and I love, love this one you guys. I used to not be a fan of this to be completely honest because it broke me out the first time but then I realized it's probably because like I was on my period that week. Now both of these was my color before I went to Hawaii, before I got tan so if it doesn't match my neck like I know. I haven't had the time to to go out and buy a new foundation so just please excuse but I think it like somewhat match but the Wet n Wild is an amazing foundation you guys like it's like seven dollars and it's medium to full coverage it's a drugstore product and they have a ton of other colors this is not a sponsored video literally I just love this product apply this using my fingers and then blend it then this is oh, that's not it that's a tissue this is the L'Oreal I don't know if it's called Beauty Blender but it is amazing you guys it's super soft and it's super cheap and it's big it's like huge if you live in oahu let me know what other things are to do there didn't get to visit a lot of the beaches we went to waimea bay and i jumped off the rock and i swear to god i feel like my soul left my body like i jumped in and my soul just went up to god that was so scary but it was so much fun okay i think the foundation is working if you just have to tell me that it doesn't match just go ahead and comment down below because i already know anyways for concealer this is my all-time favorite concealer and it is five bucks from the drugstore this is the la girl pro concealer in the shade pure beige and honestly guys i've gone through so many tubes of this like like i have four tubes of this also i see some of you guys' comments on my pictures and videos and you guys tell me that i look like the real moana and that makes my heart melt okay so i'm just blending in this concealer you guys this concealer is amazing like if i could be any concealer this is me next i'm gonna go in with the same concealer but in the shade chestnut which is this brown one so i just went ahead and put the product in here i have been obsessed like i feel like i can't do my makeup without doing this anymore it's so bad because this takes a lot of time. And I like to use it on my nose. So are you guys on summer vacation? Let me know down below. After a million years of blending, I'm gonna go in with my favorite powder. This is the Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder. I feel like the TSA like opened this and like poured it out just to make sure it's not like drugs or anything because when I got it in my luggage, like everything was like right here. And I was like, okay and just apply it like that. No, we're not really baking here. I don't really bake to be completely honest, but I like to just leave it there for like, I don't know, a minute or so. All right, let's have some 21 year old talks right now. Who has been clubbing before? Because I'm like somewhat interested in trying it out. But at the same time, I'm literally a grandma. Like when I was in Hawaii, my mom has asked me to try every cocktail that's on the menu. And I was like, this is just not working out. I knew that I wasn't like into alcohol and stuff. But clubbing on the other side is dancing and whatnot. And I love dancing. So if you've been clubbing, let a girl know how your experience is because I might go soon and I wanna know, you know, I wanna like prepare myself. I already know that I'm not gonna be like going crazy and whatnot, but like I'm just, so excited for all the dancing. Oh, and then I like to use this flat top brush. This is just from like Shein. Moving on to bronzer. I recently got the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Parade Cheek a Thon palette type of thing. And I have been using this every single day ever since I went to Hawaii. And I like to use the Hula bronzer right here. And I have the California, which is like a really nice pink shade. It has like little iridescence of like glitters on it. And it's super, super nice. Apply that on top of where I put the cream concealer. I really, really love the Hula bronzer. If you've been watching my tutorials on my channel, you know that I've been living off of that little tiny sample of Hula bronzer, but now I'm so glad that I finally have it. <sighs> it's amazing. After bronzing, I like to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade party and i said it that way because there's a couple of a's in there i feel like this blush is this blush right here like it doesn't have a name on the back of the palette but i feel like it's the same thing and i like to apply it towards my temples and not like my cheeks yeah this is amazing i love tarte blushes to be completely honest i think they're one of my favorites i want all of them i like to go back to my cheek athon palette and just dab my brush on california just because it has that like little shine to it 
and just apply it on top. Moving on to highlight. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been using this every single day. This is literally the only highlight I brought with me to Hawaii. And this one's actually bronzer, but I use this as a highlight just because I did get tan. This is the J-Cat Beauty Golden Soleil Baked bronzer in the shade Bora Bora Beach. You guys, this one is amazing. Honestly, this is the only highlight I brought with me. Like, I didn't need anything else. I know, right? Knowing me, I should have brought like 50 highlighter, but no. This is the only highlight or bronzer I brought with me. I like to go in with this Vasanti brush and just tap it. And there. It is so nice. Like, it just gives you that really nice, like, natural glow and then I like to take it a little bit on my nose and for my lips I like to use the Rimmel London long lasting lip liner in the shade spice um just apply this And yeah, this is basically the whole makeup look that I did or like what I mostly do during the summertime. It is super glowy, super natural. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you guys like it, please give this video a big thumbs up. I have to hurry up because my family's waiting for me, but we're going to go eat breakfast. But yeah, so anyways, that is that. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!